MCP is all over the internet and I'm here to tell you the good, bad and ugly of MCP very briefly. In simple terms, MCP that stands for Model Context Protocol is an open standard that lets AI systems connect with external data and remember context more effectively. Think of MCP like a USB-C port for all AI applications. It's like a universal connector that allows our AI models to plug into different tools and data sources. So this is the same goal with MCP here, which was launched originally by Anthropic. So let's start about the good things that MCP brings to AI before we see what are the ugly and the bad part it is. So at its heart, MCP acts like a memory boost for AI models. Also, MCP can help you connect with different systems. I've seen demos where people have connected MCP, people have created MCP server for Blender. So you can just go to Claude and then tell Claude, hey Claude, can you create a 3D model of a monkey? Then it talks to the MCP of Blender. It can create the 3D model of Blender. So basically you have taken the Claude, which is like a simple model, and then you have connected with the context through this protocol, and then it can now create 3d images and it can do a lot more like people have created music Basically, an MCP powered chatbot can maintain session continuity by having a memory layer, can talk to different tools and systems. Now it can become so good. Like for example, you can access external information like calendar, company database, internet, browser, and anything that you want to do, you can basically do by having an MCP server to it. For example, the same MCP framework could let an AI assistant fetch your latest emails, post a message in Slack, query a SQL database all through one common interface, just like a USB-C port. So this standardization not only saves development time, it also means AI systems can seamlessly hop between different tools while keeping the context. As Anthropic, the creator of MCP explains, MCP replaces today's fragmented, siloed integrations with a simpler, scalable architecture where AI systems maintain context across different tools and datasets. Essentially, it is enabling AI interoperability. And finally, for developers and business, developers don't have to reinvent the same wheel for each new integration. They can follow MCP's guidelines and use pre-built adapters and servers to connect to common services. As the MCP ecosystem grows, we might get a library of integrations for Google Drive, Slack, GitHub, anything that you want to name. That's a really good and win-win for both the user and also the developer. Now let's talk about the bad things. MCP introduces a new layer of architecture. So this is always a problem when you're dealing with software design. When you have a system designed for software applications, you do not want to introduce unnecessary layer in the over bloated system already. If a team has a small project that just needs a basic AI answer, then using MCP might be an overkill. Standalone or small scale applications may find MCP overhead unnecessary since a direct API call could do the job without extra machinery. You can make API calls. You don't have to have a wrapper around API calls. I know this is just a protocol. This is just help you communicate with different systems, but you could directly write that API connection rather than using an internal or the middleware kind of a protocol, which in this case is MCP that can lead to one is the overhead that you have got and also performance and scalability issue. So the fact that it is not yet a plug and play universal solution, imagine like what happened with OpenAI GPT store. And like, I, I don't see anybody creating any GPTs and you don't know if MCP would end up in the same situation. It solves some integration problems, but it also introduces new considerations of its own. So the ugliest of all these things with MCP is, I would say personally, this is a security issue. So you do not know how somebody has handled this entire thing. And by using an MCP server that you're not familiar with, you might be leaking information to somebody else and that might create or violate privacy at scale. So while the protocol itself is neutral, like you might go and comment, hey, did you even know MCP stands for a protocol? It is not a tool, it is not a software, it's just a protocol. The problem here is that 
just in the name of this protocol there are a lot of clients and servers that people are creating and we do not know how effective how secure and how much they value privacy of somebody and this could be helped to violate somebody's privacy even privacy at scale so when you deploy things at a scale this can create a problem also the biggest thing is if you're a software team do you want to add a system do you want to add a solution to your existing system where the layer connects to a different tool which you do not control and anybody who has created a software you have got third party systems like for example if you go to salesforce you've got a third party marketplace you know that it's a big pain to manage these third party integrations because your customers would use the tool and then come back to you and then raise a complaint while that is not a tool that you own or you maintain and this creates a lot of issues i think that is my biggest problem with mcp about how mcp as an ecosystem is going to evolve mcp even though it is a very impressive protocol in and itself and people are doing wild crazy things with mcp which is really good to see that you can use softwares and also AI LLMs together in this uh, very close standardized way. But also I believe that this raises a lot of security question, like how wipe coding is leaking all security information. I don't want MCP to end up like that. Let me know what you feel about this short MCP, good, bad, ugly. But if you feel MCP is all good and if you want to go full on MCP, let me know that I would love to make more MCP videos. See you in another video. Happy prompting.